Good morning, guys. Thanks for listening to Coffee with Christ. I'm back. I got back last week and I have not made any videos. And so the crazy thing is, this is going to be just a time where I am talking honestly to you guys. So um, I woke up early this morning and I am like I do every morning for Coffee with Christ. And I'm like, God, what do you want me to say? And I am hours in here just trying to figure out what he wants me to say. And, you know, he's kind of quiet. Like the teacher in me, I could pick out anything in the Bible and I could teach it all day long. I mean, that's I love God's word, but that's not what I want. Um, that's not how this is set up. He gives me specific words that I speak. And so if I don't have that, I don't do that. And so I have just been... You know, I was I was at a loss. I'm like, what do I do? And so um, I just come up with, um, you know, I was thinking, I think it was like last week or the week before I said that I have always stayed at home. So I've always homeschooled my kids and I've stayed at home now. My son is almost 19. So I she was a stay at home mom for like 19 years and my husband's traveled. And so it's been me and the kids here a lot. And so I was always like, I am made for this. This time of quarantine, I am made. Like, I have wisdom for this because you know what I'm saying? I am still sane. I mean, it's about to go down and you're getting ready to watch the hair thing start to turn because everything's shut down and I'm a procrastinator and haven't got a haircut. So you're about to watch some demise. But you know what? This mind is sane and I do recognize that Jesus is in it, but you know... He has given me wisdom. So I'm going to pass that wisdom on to you at how to survive the quarantine. You know, you all are, are instant homeschoolers, even if you didn't want to. And so the first little piece of advice I'm going to remind you, you know, it's cool. It's been fun staying home. You're busy. You know, you're going to reset. You've probably been in your jammies a lot. And that's cool. And I say stay in those as long as you want. But when you start feeling down and you start feeling like, because what happens is we stay in our jammies and then all we're doing is reading about the coronavirus and we start thinking we have every symptom. We feel like junk. This is my thing. Shower. Shower. Get up and shower and put some clothes on. That's, that's one key to sanity. Put some makeup on. Do your hair. If you don't want to and you've been busy, you've been doing that for 20 years every day. It may take you a couple weeks to start to feel kind of yucky about it. You know, live it out. Have fun with it. But when you start to feel yucky about it, take a shower. Brush your teeth. It, it does wonders. Sunlight. Get up and open them blinds. Open the blinds. It's simple. But you know, when we traveled in an RV and it was freezing out and we had to have our windows covered in the RV to keep it. I would just go to the one little part that he left me let open. I would let the sunlight just hit my face. Sunlight, sunlight, sunlight. And a schedule. A schedule. Guys, you need a schedule. You need to put your kids on a schedule. I had my kids on a tight schedule always. It's kind of fun not to be on one. You know, kids are highly scheduled now. But when they start to drive you nuts, and it will happen if it hasn't already, put them on a schedule. A bedtime. My kids had an 8 o'clock bedtime when they were little. Why? Because I am not a night owl. So I fall asleep at like 10. And I needed two hours of me time. So they went to bed at 8. Whether they went to sleep in there, I don't really care. They weren't bugging me. They could lay in there and read books, talk to themselves. If your kids are teenagers, I don't care. It's time for you to go to your room and rest. Do whatever you want. But then it's you time. So a schedule. Do themed meals, green eggs and ham, I don't care, treasure hunts inside for the kids. But it is not your job to entertain your kids 24-7. Don't carry that burden. You know what's going to happen? I don't care if they say I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. You know what? They're going to get back, reset something that we all had when we were younger, and it's called an imagination. It's okay. You do not have to entertain them all the time. If they're driving you nuts about being bored, send them to their room. They... Now, you got to watch them because their imagination can then go a little crazy. But you know what? Let them have an imagination. It's good for them to feel uncomfortable and bored because it will dig in deeper. It is okay. You do not have to entertain them. Give yourself a home, Medi, Manny, Petty, you know, facial, whatever. Just do something for yourself. Make yourself feel pretty. Music. 
music of any kind. You know I love worship music, but it's not the only kind of music. Put some jazz music on. Put some 80s music. Whatever makes you happy, but put some music on. Call people. Just don't text them. Now's the time we're actually going to have to pick the phone up and call because we need to hear people's voices. So I'm running out of time. Those are my tips. Um, and I will definitely talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for listening and subscribing. And um, we're going to get through this together. God knows. And he's in it. He loves you. I'm praying for you guys. And I will talk to you tomorrow.